Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Sigi Air. Here today we are in Athens, Greece, and we are flying the Airbus A380, the fly-by-wire version, which is, I believe, it's one of the best um, freeware aircraft out there. I think the fly-by-wire team has done a fantastic job with this aircraft. It's not perfect, uh, but it's it's really enjoyable to to set up and fly. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to uh, we're going to do a stop over in uh, Madrid, Spain, and then we're going to uh, on a later video we're just going to finish our flight into uh, London. So. Why don't we get started when we'll talk about a couple of things during this uh, video uh, which I would like your opinion about but let's get the fly-by-wire here started now the reason I'm doing this video it's um, I have flown in the fly-by-wire a couple of times and it still has some issues with the frame rate and um, fly-by-wire just released a new update on it and they said that this is going to address some of those issues now I'm here in, f in 2k and everything is maxed out into ultra and uh, let me see if I can get a f uh, reading on my FPS and that's that's fine but what we want is really not stuttering so um, we are going to into Madrid because the photogrammetry pho photogrammetry I can never say that word photogrammetic photogrammetry photogram anyway you know what I mean um, it's uh, it's not as bad as in London so we're gonna see how that works in Madrid and um, why don't we just get started here and um, this is actually uh, not a difficult uh, aircraft like any of the A380s is just um, easy to get set up and everything so uh, we're gonna do that one thing I learned is that when you have external power just get that um, that set up with the starting with the external power two three and four and then go to one because apparently that um, your screens and the rest of your aircraft just get started quicker I don't know if that's true but I'll give it a try and then we'll just go and do the batteries here and that's all good all right um, we do have a GSX integration integration here so we are just gonna use it um, and see how it works but you don't need GSX for any pushback or any services here so it's all handled through uh, the EFB here but we're gonna use GSX and um, we have a sim brief that is not accurate here so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, use sim brief dispatch so uh, I have a video about Simbrief Dispatch if you want to use it. It's uh, um, a new um, add-on from Simbrief that you can do your flight planning right from from within the sim. And uh, if you haven't seen it, well, just go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use it. I incorporated the, the Simbrief Dispatch into my Flow Pro here. And we're just going to get it started here. Now one thing about this is just it seems to to take a little bit of a time here it looks a little bit of a lag time in getting it going um, so let's see how well that's not too bad all right so I'm gonna do a new flight I think this is very convenient here so um, I like it see one one two three and uh, departing from uh, we'll just look look it up here and Athens and we are at uh, not the United States we are El Fethrius 
Venicelos International. Okay, we're gonna select that. All right, so we're going to uh, Madrid, Spain, to. Oh, just gonna have to sell, search for it, Madrid. And that's uh, Adolfo Suarez Madrid Barajas. L E M D. A388, so technically. And there's a, a fly by wire uh, frame here, uh, default here, if you want to select that. That all looks good. All right, so let's generate that flight. So, flight level 400, and we have a cost in this 15. And that's all good. So, we're just going to close this out for the moment. Go back to our EFB here. Looks like the frame rates, no stuttering, um, no issues so far. So let's import that updated SimBrief plan. And we have it here, LGAV to LEMD. And we have our winter pressures, all of that available here. It's a really nice EFB for the fly-by-wire. All right, so, uh, let's get preliminary stuff here and um, we'll arm the lights we'll turn on the seat belts to auto we'll do the nav lights and and that's about it for now and we also are going to start our apu we have information from simbrief about the fuel we're gonna download that we are also for our ATC service. We are using Beyond ATC, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, ATC services. And I'm gonna have a video about that um, later on um, in the channel about what the future of ATC services and why I'm making the choices that I'm making at this point. So let's do let's do an instant load here. And that's loaded, and then let's do an instant load on the pave on the fuel, and we're taking 46 tons. That should be enough. We we can let's do this. Let's take 50 tons. All right. So refueling has started, and then we can concentrate here on the flight plan which there's integration here for the flight plan if we go to not here we have to go to init our init page and company flight plan request and so as i was saying well that's loading um i have and then let's do receive flight plan and insert it and we're just gonna verify LGAV, LEMD, and alternate is LEAB. Cruise altitude is flight level 400, and that all goods the trip winds. We're gonna put the average, so we have a headwind of 18. So we'll put that. Unfortunately, at this point, there's no uh, automatic up uplink of the winds. And um, we'll just have to do it manually because there's no company win request. All right, so that is done. And we can go to f uh, flight plan or fuel and load. And since we did an instant load, we can put our numbers from here. So we have a go to payload and we have a zero fuel weight of 326 all right 326 zero and we have block fuel is um, 50.6 
we got taxi fuel everything extra four point we don't well we don't know yet so we'll just wait for that and a CG we're just gonna have to wait so we're gonna put in 30 and for now and uh, we'll revise those okay so let's go to flight plan and LGAV and we're going to look for a departure here and we are departing runway 03 right and uh, one thing that I'm finding is that um, beyond ATC changes the runway all the time especially their variable winds they don't stick to the Simbri flight plan but let's see let's request beyond ATC connected a um, clearance here and while that's loading so we have our runway th and our sit is let's get the look at that is Corey one echo down below here and there's no transition so we'll let's look at uh, beyond ATC and let's uh, take a look at the clearance so I'm gonna request the clearance now Airbus 1123 Super ready to pick up IFR clearance to Barajas Airbus 1123 Super, Venizelos Delivery, expect Rangel 03 right, KOR 1 Echo Deporter, initial climb to 6,000 feet. Scroke 5142. Okay, so that, that is correct. We're Call 1 the, Echo Departure. The correct... Scroke uh, 5142. Airbus 1123 Super. Airbus 1123 Super, read back correct. Contact ground 121.955 when ready for pushback or end and start. All right, so we got a lot Ground 121.955 when ready, Airbus 1123 Super. Bye-bye. Right, and then we're going to insert that. And we also, and hopefully we'll get um, the same when we get to Barajas. All right, so we have a before start checklist and we're just going to ask for our pushback here on our tool. And this this one is um, I like it. I'm just uh, I'm glad that I'm highlighting and showing this one because it's it's good. You don't need to have GSX here. G you know it's actually I kind of like it better than GSX I'm gonna release the brake and I'm gonna turn on the pushback system here and we're gonna face southeast this way so we're gonna change directions here so to increase the speed a little bit okay let's go through before the start checklist Take of speeds and thrusts are set and beacon is tasty. All right, let's get the uh, disconnect the tug, put this brake on and disconnect the tug. And we'll check on our bleed pressure here. make sure that we have enough pressure to start these two engines here the 15 should be enough just a little bit stuttering here so still some issues with the stutter that uh, the folks at the 
fly-by-wire need to address. Yeah, I did try to lower my settings, but I found that it really didn't make much of a difference. So I'm going to keep it there so for your uh, 4K enjoyment, and we'll deal a little bit with the stuttering. Hopefully, it's not too distracting. So, I'm using Beyond ITC, and uh, I'm just going to say this, and I like your, your comments if you want to give me your opinion about this. You know, uh, my ma main issue with, uh, I used to use Say Intentions AI, and I have to say, it's a, you know, the developers are fantastic, and they they're came up with a great product. Uh, but I don't like a subscription service so I find that uh, uh, it comes out to be very expensive I mean if you look at it, it's hundred and ninety four dollars a year and you have to keep on paying that at um, you know if you pay for the whole year it's hundred and ninety four dollars if you pay on a monthly basis it's sixteen ninety five so the first thing is, do I want to pay $194 for my ATC service uh, for one year? And the next year is another $194. So, I, you know, in general, I just don't like subscription services. I think we have too many subscription services. And for me having a subscription services su subscription service for microsoft flight simulator is just seems too much i don't want to bring that in i mean we got netflix we got all kinds of subscription services and it's just uh i think that they gotten out of control um, i'm a little bit old-fashioned um, in the sense that I like to buy the software, I like to buy whatever, pay one price, and know that's gonna be it. I just don't want to pay want to pay a subscription services for software that is basically in development here, because that's what um, that's what Say Intentions is. They are still in development, and I have found that um, I want to be able to. To be assured that I'm going to f uh, be a hundred percent or close to a hundred percent of my flights, uh, I, you know, I was just getting six at best, seven out of ten flights. So I told that to the people of Say Intention Say I, and I was a little bit dismayed that I detected a lot of anger. Uh, in their responses to me. All right, let's get let's get going here, and I'll finish that this little bit of a rant here on say intentions. Um, all right, we're going to request departure. Airbus 1123 Super, ready for departure. Runway 0 3 right. Airbus 1123 Super. Alright, let's go through our last last two checklists here. Flaps config one plus F. Radar is on and off, on and auto, and that's completed. And then let's do our lineup checklist. Runway zero three right, cabin crew informed. Packs 
one and two are off. Lineup checklist completed. All right, now it's not too bad. Um, a little bit, still a little bit of stuttering here. All right, so we are good to go. We're going to stabilize the engines. Take off. Set. Feels like there's a little bit of a crosswind here. B1, rotate. Positive right, gear up, let's get the zoom. Airbus 1123 Super, Kontakt Athens, Departure 121 Decimal 4. Kontakt Athens, Departure 121 Decimal 4, Airbus 1123 Super. And even an issue here with the flaps. Athens, Airbus 1123 Super, 2100 feet. Got a pilot one on. Airbus 1123 Super, Athens Departure, identified, climb to flight level 190. Climb to flight level 190, Airbus 1123 Super. Alright, so a uh, very nice departure here from Athens. A sunset departure. Close to sunset here. Yeah, um, so that's not too bad. No stuttering here. There was uh, just some stuttering while we were taking off. Um, that fly by wire people may need to still do some. If you wanted to fly, you know, at, with Ultra and everything, but I, like I said, I just didn't make too much of a difference when I tried that before. All right, so after takeoff checklist here. We are already done that. We don't need to do the approach, so we're good to go. It's a little bit different from your uh, Phoenix A320. The beautiful aircraft. Um, I think fly by wire people. Airbus 1123 Super, maintain 235 knots. The fly by wire people. Maintain 235 knots. Airbus 1123 Super. We need to go to standard. Cross check, standard. Two thirty five knots. It's where we we're good. We're managed speed, so that's keeping up with it.
All right, so going back to that issue um, of the ATC service, so like I said, it's just, uh, you know, in general for my life, just want to get rid of subscriptions. Um, Airbus 1123 Super, contact Athens Control 135 Nesamal 875. Contact Athens Control 135 Decimal 875, Airbus 1123 Super. Athens Control, Airbus 1123 Super, out of flight level 174 for flight level 190.